This week, we're headed to the high desert of central Oregon. Right to the heart of the state, we'll be staying in Prineville. It's a small little town in Crook County. The population, oh, just over about 10,000 people. We'll be staying at Crook County RV Park right next to the fairgrounds. County RV Park, owned by the county park system. Spots here are a little bit tight and narrow, but it's uh, nice and clean. And you can see a little bit of grass, no dirt. Drives are a little bit narrow, so you got to be a little bit more exact, but it was a pull through, so we didn't have to worry about that too much. Hey, baby. Take a look at the connections, though, will you? There's your water. It's pretty straightforward. The electric box is pretty nice. All lit up in case you want to come out at nighttime and hang out. Uh, I've set up for 50, or 50, 30, and 110. Got cable right here if you wanted to do cable. But it's in good shape. New. This would typically close, but because we have our surge guard on there, it doesn't. Nice, clean, short run to the water. That was nice. Same thing for the sewer. Pretty straightforward on the sewer. Not bad. Not the best I've ever seen, but not bad at all. Very, as I said, these are very narrow, very close together. But it's nice. So far, it seems quiet. And uh, I think we're going to... I think this is going to be better than the KOA, don't you? Yeah, you can tell she thinks it's going to be better than the KOA. <laughs> oh, happy wife, happy, happy life. Happy wife. <laughs> and I'm happy. Oh, goodness. Beautiful night. <laughs> RV, but it's nice to uh, have the bigger machines for some of the heavier stuff. But look at this, this is really nice. Big nice machines. machines. Yeah, lots of them too. Wow, nice laundry room. And the bill changer. Nice. Yeah, you got a pool table here. That's kind of fun if you're looking for something to do to get out of the heat. Yes, and decorated room. Really yeah, I bet this would be nice, especially in the winter time, sitting out here in front of the fireplace. Of course, I got a TV, get a crick in my neck looking that high up, but it's there. And then uh, beverages and candies. It's kind of nice. Very nice little I like it. social gathering community room. hear about all these great chefs out there who are men and I'm not one of them but you know what when we're camping I get to pretend for short periods of time that I actually know how to cook makes me feel so manly we do a lot of barbecuing when we're camping and I like that everybody loves to barbecue when you're camping and we're gonna have kebabs tonight So we were just uh, tooling around here in Prineville and saw a sign that pointed us in the direction of a nice viewpoint. It gives you a great view 
of Prineville. Actually, a spectacular view of Prineville, including this golf course. Take a look at this. Wow, makes me wish I was a golfer. Nice little town, Prineville. Some Le Schwab Center. Just spectacular here. Crook County Fairgrounds. There is no fair this year. Imagine it would be really amazing to be staying over there in the RV park and just walk right through the gates. They got a fence, they've got gates in there and walk right over. How fun would that Our be? Our friends, huh? Alan and Lori, she's hiding over there. Alan got a job here after we were camping here. So we decided to come back and spend time with them. So we're Ange. Yeah. 12 years coming out this area and we've never been out to this viewpoint. It's another one of those Hey, we should stop there sometime and take a look. We've been saying that for like uh, 12, 12 years. years. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, now we're here with our friends, Alan and Lori, and we're actually gonna go see the P.S. Ogden viewpoint. Come on, I'll show you. Well, that's where we drive by every year and look over here and think this is what we gotta go see. Take a look at this, it's remarkable. still use this train trestle here, built in 1911. so That's tiny right. back there. I know. It's like you're taking your daughter for a motorcycle ride. <laughs> yeah. All right. Adios. Out here at Painted Hills, I guess they call this a national monument, but I'm not sure. I was working the other day uh, from the uh, trailer when Angela rode with Alan out here on the motorcycle, and what I saw on their video and photos was so beautiful. I had to come out here for myself. 
The um, red bands out here formed a warmer, wetter climate, and the more frequent at the bottom of the hills, and over time, they say it increasingly gave way to the yellow soils that formed in drier times, and eventually the reds disappeared completely. And in the higher rock layers, you see they're leaving those yellows and tans that dominate the carol rim in the distance. Hundreds of years ago, the Chippewa used to range out here to form their attacks on the settlers as they were setting up camp down here in the basins and the foothills of the Painted Hills. Okay, that's a load of crap. I made it up. But it's pretty out here. Look at this. Don't hurt the dirt. Absolutely amazing, the gradations of color. It's just, you can really see why they call it the Painted Hills, can't you? Yeah. It's incredible. Wow. Hmm. So what did they call this trail again, Ellen? Painted Trail. Painted Trail. Oh, Painted Cove. Let's do a redo one. Oh. Doug. So what's the name of this trail? Here. Painted Cove Trail, Doug. Painted Cove Trail, Doug. <laughs> in time. This is the town of Mitchell. This is the business loop. I'm gonna go down here and find something to eat. Should we buy a hotel? Yeah, let's do it. We have a bit of a... They've got RV parking. Yeah. <laughs> Tiger Town Brewing, look at that. <laughs> Alan just started his truck remotely. It's almost like a new one. It's exciting. It is exciting. So you actually should try to make your way out here because it's just fun. It's like a, uh, it's like a step back in time. Speaking of steps, watch your step. There we go. <laughs> All right. We're, roll Bye -bye. we're rolling. See ya.